I'm Maite Makhova, 28 year old entrepreneur from South Africa. Um, I own a company called Childish Trading and Manufacturing. We are the creators of this wonderful doll, this wonderful brand, this wonderful African kiddies character called the Mombim Poppy. As a company, we realized that there was, you know, there was not enough diversity in the kiddies market, you know. There was not a real representation of the world in the kiddies market, of the true world and what it is and who, who it has in the world. So we decided, you know what, we are going to be the representatives of the Africans, you know. So we found a way to just take what, what is African and found a way to, to translate it in the Mompi way, right? Because that's what Mompi is about. She's about the beauty that is the African child, you know. She is about the, 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 the modern mentality of where Africans are today and that's just why we exist. Introducing diverse looks, ones that look like my children, gives them an option and it, it opens up their mind to say it can be beautiful even if it doesn't have long straight hair, it can be beautiful even if it's not necessarily light skin. Diversity is important and having them grow up with that in the environment is an awesome idea. She's current, she's what's happening, you know, from Jamaica, New York to Lagos and South Africa. A mompy poppy and her fro, honey, you know. Um, we really wanted the texture of the hair to be, you know, that, that nice, thick, you know, that woolly feel of the true African hair. The kids need to know that from the, as young as possible that there is nothing wrong with the hair. African women all over the world are sharing tips on how to take off your hair naturally. So it's actually a culture that has started. I've seen a puppy that's dressed in an Afro chic outfit. That's something they can relate to. They see their moms and aunts dressed that way. It resonates with the way they live. We obviously knew that what Mompi wears, you know, has to be obviously something that the child could wear as well. The Sushwesha print, I mean, it's Africa. We have, we found a way to introduce, you know, our African prints in the current fashion of which kids can love. Even the, the way we brand the logo itself, because this is wearing a Sushwesha print, Mompi's wearing a little Sushwesha hat, yeah, at the bag. We take, you know, that the, the typical African traditional culture and we, we modernize it and we bring it into the light that we as the youth see it. The world of business, it's risk. It was a risk I was willing to take because I believe in so much. There are many international brands that are very well known, you know, like, uh, you, we all know them, you know, that names when you say, just say it once and the kids know who you're referring to. You know, so those are brands that, that have been around for such a, a long time and we are trying to go there. That's the route we are taking. We are not just trying to be a doll, we are trying to be a household brand just like those international brands. We are in a phase where we are creating more people be the cartoon character. Exciting times, you know, the cartoon character is developing nicely, you know, the kiddie story books is developing nicely. Right now we are in talks with our brothers in Zim, our big companies in Zim, big companies in Ghana. We are negotiating with other, you know, um, American and European companies that want to stock up on Bobby. So watch out, watch out. She is coming for you all over the world. She is coming for you.